Hey guys, so it's Makeup Monday and this week I'm going to do a video that has been requested. It is my foundation routine and the products that I use. So keep watching and I shall show you how I get my day look. Okay, so the first product that I would use, which I have already popped on, um, is Daily Youth from Soap and Glory. Um, and this one is a moisturiser, like a daily, quite a light day moisturiser. Um, but it does also say that it has six in one super boost um, criteria basically and one of them is that it can act as a primer now I quite like this I need the moisturizer on my skin anyway and then I find that it does help to hold my makeup in place so I'd pop that one on first and then I don't know if this is a conventional way to do your makeup but I tend to pop a little bit of concealer on first then put my foundation on then put my concealer on properly after so the first thing that I do and you have to excuse this, this is really embarrassing after I told everyone to spring clean their makeup I forgot to do this one but this is my MAC Studio Finish in NW20 Concealer. Oops. Um, anyway, so I would get my makeup brush. I have one of these double-ended ones here. This was a really cheap brush from Primark, but it's perfect for just chucking in my um, makeup bag and um, just using for sort of simple little things. Um, I wouldn't use this on a client, I have to say, but... What I would do is just dab my concealer onto there and then for this I would just go underneath the eyes and sticking lit literally to where the shadowing is there. And this would just help give a little bit of extra coverage. I do feel that my skin's quite sort of dark around the eye area. So I do those two and then on top of that I go on with my foundation. And the foundation that I'm using is Rimmel Lasting Finish. Um, I think I've written about this one before on my blog, but this is my favourite foundation. Um, it's mineral enriched, it's almost a dupe for one of the MAC ones that I used to use. Um, stays in place for hours and I really like the coverage. So I would probably get a little bit of that. I always put it on the back of my hand. Don't know if that's just a beauty therapist thing or whether you guys do that too. And then I'd use my stipple brush. This is a MAC one there. Um, and I would just stipple it onto there. And I always tend to work from the outside in. So I do the outside of my face, work along the chin, work up onto my forehead, and then the last bit that I do is right through the centre of the face. And the only reason for this is because it's a habit I tend to use when I do makeup on other people that are going to be photographed. It tends to be the area that's sort of because it has the most of the features then obviously you don't want that to look too flat so just using a minimal amount of coverage on there I find is what works for me and then whatever excess you have left on your brush I always take down onto sort of the neck area nothing worse than having the line of the uh, your foundation. Then once that one's on I would then go back in with my concealers and so I go back in with my MAC one which is the studio finish and just go along again the lines. So I would dab it into place and then just dab it with my finger just to blend it. I always find with concealing it's better to layer up rather than go on with a really thick layer straight away. And then the next product I use is one of my favourite makeup products. I have noticed a few people haven't found it very good but it's a raised paste from um, Benefit. And this, although it is a slight concealer, it's slightly more of a highlighter. I think it's sort of like... Um, got pigments in there that reflect or bounce the um, light away from the shadowed areas so I like to put that one just on top and um, I use a tiny brush, this, the brush actually came with the product itself so I use that and again just pop along the line where the shadow was and I don't think with this one that you need too much product so just dab it on and then blend it out with your finger ever so gently and then once all of that is done, just to finish that off, I use a powder. And this one is 
the Luminous Press Powder and this one's from Sleek um, and this one I've got is in number one there and I just use, this is another, I think this might have been from Primark too actually, just a sort of, um, this is a good brush sort of be able to get a little bit more control. So pop that on, blend it over the face. And then around the eye area, I tend to get it onto the brush, but then I'll hold it so I actually have more control of the bristles and I will dab it into place rather than rub it. And this would be the same if I had a spot and I'd concealed over the top of that, then I would do the same then. Rather than spending all that time concealing and then brushing over with your powder brush would mean that you could effectively brush off the concealer. So if you're trying to you know, go over an area where you want that your product to stay then dab it on gently rather than brush and then that is it that's my foundation and my base routine um it would be then that i would pop on the rest of my makeup blusher so that is it that is how i do my foundation how i get my base look and the products that i use um i will put more information about the products or a list of them on my blog so please check that out and i shall pop the link in the description bar below but any other requests for a makeup monday or any videos that you would like to see please leave me um either a comment here or on twitter or facebook or on the blog um and hopefully i would get around to doing those so i hope you guys will have a great week and i shall see you all soon bye